I it is a toy gun, see? Or it could be a real gun. It's a real gun wrapped up in tape. Is it a leather or holster? Holy fuck, dude! <laughs> start my electrolysis project here with my gun that I found it's in that bag it's been soaking with lemon juice overnight well, almost for 24 hours um, in that bucket just to get a little bit of the rust off if I could get some a little better contact uh, with the with the iron during the process because I don't um, yeah I want to make contact with the iron and not just be insulated by the rust it's gonna be a little bit slower if that happens so so let's uh, prepare the bucket. So basically everything's raw right now. There's nothing really made up. This is the bucket I'm gonna use. I gotta drill some holes in it and get these probes inside it. These iron, these are, yeah, these steel probes, not stainless steel. So they're a little long, but um, that's the shortest I could find. And the rebar they had was coated with, with uh, some stuff that wouldn't conduct electricity very well, so I couldn't get the rebar that I wanted, but this will be this will work just fine. All right, let's uh, mount this camera and we'll drill some holes and get this thing set up. I'm gonna drill, and drill a couple holes in the side here. So it's too cool. So the two holes done. And now I'm going to attach the rods with some copper wire, tighten it down. I just went ahead, I like cut my finger, trying to mess this up, uh, do this thing up. Now it's, it doesn't look very organized, but it's gonna get the job done. So basically I got these two um, steel posts here, not stainless, because I guess if you use stainless steel, I hear um, the stainless steel breaks down to this extremely carcinogenic, toxic waste that can kill you and it's not good and it's I think it's even illegal to produce and to dump so this stuff is much safer and it'll work just as good so I got the two steel rods they're connected by copper wire at two different points just to be sure that I'm connecting with the copper and then I also use the steel wire as well um, to tighten the rods to the to the side of the of the bucket so that it doesn't come out I can't fill the water past those holes I don't want the water to touch that, that copper or else the copper goes nasty. So I don't want to do that either. So it's only going to go as high as there and it turns out that the gun will be submerged in water fully. Uh, the gun is on a, on a vice grip you can see there with a clamp set to it. So it's not going to move or swing you know to hit. It cannot touch the, these copper, these are these uh, steel bars. Must not or else it's going to short the whole thing out. My my uh, 12 volt battery charger will be dead and, and then you know that's no good so there's the gun you can see though so anyway this gun i was looking at it and i used the vinegar on it and it was okay but it's starting to you can see it's starting to break and there's there's rust going through some of the metal some of the iron on there so this thing could disintegrate Totally. Right. I mean, some of it's really solid. Other parts, not so much. Cross your fingers. Um, this is how it looks now. Hopefully, it's not completely dead uh, by the time I'm done getting all this rust off. So now I just gotta go get the baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. Mix it in. I believe it's a tablespoon per liter. I'll just double check that, and uh, then we'll plug it in and let it rip. Um, I'm going to put one tablespoon for every gallon or one tablespoon for every four liters if you know liters or gallons or whatever but it's just one tablespoon we'll see how many I get in here I got to submerge that nut, that uh, gun and let's see what happens so sure. 
that now. Oh. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna dry everything off because I've gotten water everywhere. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. One more, just for good measure. Now, yeah, it's fully submerged. So now I'm gonna add the sodium bicarb. So I'm gonna add um, five tablespoons. So let's do that now. Okay, the one, two, three, four, and five. And just, you know, a little bit more just for good measure. Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> now we're gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna mix it in a little bit. So just stir it around so it's, it's all dissolved. Mix up. See what happens. And that's it. Now we're all ready to roll. Oh my lord. Now I said a little prayer because I hope this isn't the last time I see the gun uh, the way it looks. Let's take just for one last, you know, take a look at it one last time. There it is. There. Whoa. There's the gun. Clamp is just slipping a little bit. There it is. And hopefully it doesn't like disintegrate and just just the handles left. I would be sad. You can see here it's trying to it's split right here. I was trying to tap a little bit of rust off. Bad bad mis big mistake. And then I busted through right there. So hopefully this stays on here too. This clamp fix get all the rust off of, and then the positive goes to the lead. Under here. Just make sure it's all nice and secure. There we go. These can't touch. Uh, so I'm gonna put this side just in case somehow it comes off, doesn't fall in the water. And that's it. Now I basically plug this sucker in and hope to God that the whole thing doesn't blow up. I'm gonna plug it in in the other room and we're gonna see what happens. Let me just move this over a bit. I can get by. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna plug this thing in. Okay, here we go. Okay. Charge. Okay, hopefully it doesn't blow. See what happens. I don't know if I see anything happening yet. I don't think so. But it usually takes a little bit of time before things start happening. Alright, so I got it. Just met the guy. Here it is. This is a manual battery charger. This is what you need. So this is gonna get the job done. That one is not, it's automatic there. It's manual. Let's take this thing and just give this a go. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Stir it up. So I guess doing this helps the water to conduct electricity better so that the flow of electrons can pass from the gun to the rods transferring all that rust with it and uh, yeah so now I got the gun here but I'm gonna I'm gonna use a clamp to secure the gun so it doesn't swing around and hit those rods because you don't want the piece that you, with the rust on it to touch those those rods right so I'm gonna clamp this I think yeah it'll be underwater 
go. I mean, if I was using my head, I could probably do this while. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I still got it. No problem. Just clamp that on there, good. There we go. Now I can turn this, and I don't have to worry about about anything falling in. The gun is completely submerged in the water. All right, and um, I think we're almost ready to roll here. So I'm going to show you where I'm plugging the the positive and negative now. So the positive positive goes to the iron rods. So I'm going to stick a positive on this iron rod. And then the negative is going to go on. I'm going to use that that um, vice grip that the gun is attached to. And I clamp the negative onto that vice grip. So I'm just going to, not in the water, I'm just going to clamp it clip right onto that vice grip. And maybe I'll stick it like that. And we're good to go. There we are. And that's it. So now all I gotta do is turn it on. I'm gonna go plug the sucker in. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, here we go. Stand back. Uh, I have it on 2 amp. Uh, so 12 volts, 2 amps. There's 10, 2, yeah, so 12 volt with 2 amps. Okay, it's working. Let's see what's happening. Let's see, yikes. I don't know, is something going on? We got bubbles. Yeah, it's working. You can see the bubbles, the hydrogen. An oxygen bubbles coming up off the gun. Oh yeah. There we go. Definitely this time. Last time it started to work and then it stopped because it was an automatic charger. But this is going now. So that's good. We'll just try a 2 amp and then I might kick it up to 10 in a little bit. Nothing popped. So far so good. Okay, it's definitely working. You can see see all the bubbles coming out and you can look at the posts there looking crummy the only thing I'm a little worried about is that there might not be enough iron in the water uh, so I may need to which I can do really easily but I can add some more iron to that possibly I may have to do that find some big big chunks of iron nice clean iron and get get it in there to help those little tiny rods out because it might not be enough but but it is working and the water's and this has only been 10 minutes and it's already getting a little mucky there. So, sweet. This is what's going on here. You see those posts looking mucky. Water's getting gross. And we got some bubble action happening. You see the, the bubbles that are coming up. Yeah. See, everything's looking good. Bubbles coming off the from the bottom of the bucket everything's looking great I'm gonna let this thing run so let it run I'm gonna leave and go to work and do some stuff hopefully my kids don't come by and knock me over and short the whole thing out and destroy it but okay let's take a look how this thing's looking I don't know oh yeah well there's lots of junk coming on there still looking good it's taking a while though there's bubbles all over that thing though, all over the gun. It's really kicking up. Oh yeah. Okay, let's check this out. I'm gonna turn her off now. I'm gonna take it out. And I gotta go to the meeting. So we wanna see. Ooh, water's really murky and it's really bubbling. Lots of bubbles all over the gun. Can't really tell what it's like. So I'm going to take it out um, and rinse her off and let's see what happens. Okay, so I've unplugged um, everything. So the power is off. Just going to take these, put them away. Up there. Okay, 
Okay, now next, I'm going to take this out. Doesn't really look like... Oh yeah, definitely need some stuff up. There we go. Open that up. Down there. Give that a quick rinse. Okay. There it is there. Definitely a lot more come off it. I'm gonna take a little light whack to it just to jar loose. Oh yeah, so there's stuff coming off. Just from me picking at it with my fingers. Lots of rust, just flaking right off of it. I set it all up, redid it all. Um, it's all one line, and I had a, one that was bent. So I just moved it over and connected the copper at the top. So all the, all four rebar are are all connected with the copper wire. None of the copper wire is going to be touching the water either. So it's all above the water, all the copper. None of the copper wire is touching the water. The copper. It's all connected, uh, wrapped all around the whole thing, and um, now I just got to add some baking soda or some borax and then hook it up and we're going to let this thing burn. There you can see it's connected with the vice grip, it's completely submerged in the water and it's not touching any of the rebar. So I pulled the gun out, it's really dark out, um, took it to the sink, it's a bit of a mess here, cleaned it up. Stuck it in here and I'm just gonna let it sit in some olive oil. Just brush it around, let olive oil just soak into it. Um, I'll add some more in there. I didn't have enough olive oil for it to like completely be submerged, but I'm just gonna get some olive oil on it, but you can see how it looks. I'm pretty good. A lot of the rust is basically off of it. There's a tiny little bit left, but the electrolysis worked really well. You can see. Um, yeah, and there's still more stuff as I as I, even as I'm just touching it, I can feel rust just coming off. So um, it's still actually just falling off the rust. Worked out really well. I mean, just 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 rubbing it with my hands, there's just stuff coming off of it. So the olive oil will help to get the rust of it off, and. Uh, yeah, we'll see the finished product soon. And there we go.